Hey guys, Hardy here from ecomhardy.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a nice login page of your e-commerce website. So if I go to front end of my website and if I go to my account section, my account page or login or register page looking something like this one. And once you log in, it will look something like this one. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your login and sign up page and make it look more professional and better. So if I go to WP admin panel here and go to plugins, add new plugin simply click onto that and here search for login and you see this one login sign up pop-up simply install now so this is by Zutix and it has more than 50,000 installation with 217 reviews by the time I'm making this video simply activate that as soon as you activate that it shows some instruction so make sure you add the login and registration link to your menu which you have to do but let me without making any changes if i simply open the website front end and go to my account section again and refresh this page and see if it looks better or not straight away out of the box it makes a lot of difference see here you enter the username password remember me and sign in sign up section also very nice email first name last name password confirm password where the password can be visible or not and also you accept the terms and condition. Customers can click onto the terms of services and they can access to the terms of services or privacy policy page and sign up. So very nice looking. Now if I go to these plugin settings, login sign up pop-up, you can also access this plugin settings from the left-hand side panel. Here login sign up pop-up, simply go to settings here and you can make a lot of changes from here itself. If I start from general here and here you can assign the user role. In my case, because it's an e-commerce website, I set it to customer. But if it's non WooCommerce website, just a WordPress website, then simply go with the subscribers. Now, once it's done, auto login, user sign up, pop up, everything is active. And other things seems good. My account page sort code. If you haven't created the my account page yet, you can use this short code here for the checkout page form short code. You can use this short code also for the redirects uh, from login redirect or register redirect. You can also add the links of the pages, but I will keep the as it is and I will not add any redirects here. The forms pop ups, I will keep both ticked login and register. But in your case, if you don't want any pop ups, you can just deselect them. Auto pop up option, I would keep it disabled. But in your case, if you want to make it active, so if I go to the front end and if I click my account as a customer, the pop-up will come up and you see here, both login and sign up showing up in the pop-up. I can also select open only once, so it pops up only once. Now under the text, everything will remain the same. I would not like to make any changes, but it is up to you. You can change the nomenclature like from sign in to login, sign up to create account or something like that. Now, once the general section is done, simply go to style and button background color. You can change the color to match to your theme color. My theme color is this one. If you don't know what color it is, simply inspect elements. And here under the inspect elements, if you select this arrow and hover over your mouse and make sure you select the area where you see the main color. And here you see the background color D17F60. That is the color I want to set. So simply remember that code and then go to front and here you just enter that code. So now the button background color is set. The text color, I, will, I would keep it white. Border color, I would keep it as it is. The pop-ups, I would keep it as it is. And let me check here under the pop-ups, text color and background color will remain the same error tab I would keep it the same so save changes and if I go to the front end of the website here and if I go to my account again you see here button color has been changed now this color hasn't changed yet so I can change that color as well simply change it here and save changes and if you go to the front end of the website and click to my account the color has been changed so that's how you can make some changes now this looks good i can go back now and this part is done i can go to advanced section here 
And in the advanced, you don't have to worry about doing anything unless you want to go with specific CSS settings. Then you can apply those CSS here. But I usually prefer to apply CSS in the front end of the theme. Now, info section here, you have a lot of information provided. So if you will check it out. And the add-ons. There are some add-ons you can purchase separately. In my case, I can live without those add-ons, but this is very helpful add-on where it applies the security to your website when you are running a WooCommerce website, especially because when the purchase occurs, you want to make sure the customer has the correct phone number, authenticate with the OTP settings. But I would leave everything as it is for now. And once you feel like settings are set, you can go to the field section here. And here in the field section, you can make some changes as required. So you say you see here username, user email, first name, last name, password, confirm password and terms and condition. So those changes you can make from here. Simply click to edit or you can add the field as well. Once you click to edit here, you can make it active or disable here on the email. If I enable this setting and save changes here, let's see what happens. So the front end right now, it looks something like this and sign ups look something like this. But if I refresh this page, then if I go to sign up, there is another section has been added, which is called username. Now, same way, if I go to other settings and if I want to disable some of the settings like last name, if I want to disable this thing, I can always disable. But make sure when you disable this thing, make sure you disable the required settings as well. But for now, I will keep it enabled. And the other fields like single field pattern and all, you can make some relevant settings done here. So login, username, email, you can add the label. Login password, you can add the label here as, as well if you want to add any instruction into the label or something like that. But I would basically keep it as it is because I'm happy with the changes I have done so far. If I go to settings and the settings here are the field settings. So you can make relevant changes for the colors and that's it. That's how you can customize and create nice login and sign up page for your WordPress or WooCommerce website. Hope this video has added some value. Then please thumbs up to this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. Hit the bell icon so you will get notified as soon as I upload any further new videos in the future. Until next time, if you have any questions or suggestions, always comment me in the comment box below and I would love to answer you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching guys. Be safe. Take care. Bye-bye.